Uh, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. My name is Dewan Woods. I'm a retired NFL wide receiver. Played for the Jacksonville Jaguars and New Orleans Saints. I suffered a spinal cord injury with the New Orleans Saints in 2009. And when did you play for Jacksonville? I played for Jacksonville from 2007 to 2008. So tell me, how did you hear about uh, Dr. Cam's I heard uh, about um, Dr. Cam from uh, Frank Wright. Um, he is an NFL PA director. And he, he informed me about the event going on today. Dr. Clinton, so you you end your career because you got injured? Yeah, um, for the New Orleans Saints in 2009. Wow. Um, you talking about your knee or what? No, no, spinal cord, C5 and 6. Okay, does it, does it hurt? Wait, or? So yeah, it hurts. You ended your career because of this? Yes. Oh, my. Did, did you get hurt during the game yeah, or the game years of, uh, of? April 15th, 2009. Wow against the Cincinnati Bengals in the Superdome. Yeah. Wow, changed damn. Yeah, changed my life. So I, wow. it's not a day go by that I don't think about it. Um, I'm in pain throughout the day. Okay, we gotta put you back in the We NFL, gotta get you get okay? back so, in. <laughs> Let's do is it. Is that okay? Sure. It's okay with you? You can do that, man. Oh, yeah. So tell us about your experience today. Well, it was a pretty cool experience. Um, the doc's techniques um, were, you know, I haven't seen many like him, but I kind of understand the philosophy of what he was trying to get me to do um, as far as my injury and getting my body and my nervous system to reprogram or in a sense reset. He did a couple of techniques that showed me weaknesses and he pinpointed those weaknesses to different things throughout my life and in my career um, with uh, being trauma or uh, injury related issues with what was going on with my body. The injury here, or the low back, is not communicating back to your brain. Um, again, give me your deltoid muscle just to, for demonstration, okay? Now give me some strength. All right. Now, your, your brain here to your low back is not a problem, okay? You're pretty strong there. But if I say your low back communicate back to your brain, now from here to here, okay? Now feel it? Now, again, from here to here is strong, right? But from here to here, is weak all the time, right? Yeah. So that means your low back is not communicating with your brain, right? If that's not communicating, then you're not going to improve your injury, okay? It's cervical. Did you have not. surgery or what? No, no. It's, it's cervical. Okay. So oh, it's cervical. Six, okay. okay. But it's really here first. But I do feel okay? pain in my low yeah. back, yes. So we take care of this first before we take care of your neck, okay? Can you tell us a little bit about your injury? No, I had a C5, C6 herniation. Uh, this is the issue with spinal stenosis, um, which basically that spinal stenosis is something I was born with. It's an abnormally small spinal column. Um, the dysesthesia hmm. is nerve damage. Um, I lose feeling in these three fingers. Um, my legs go to sleep throughout the day, or if I sit in the wrong position, or if I stand for longer than 30 minutes, um, I lose muscle control. Uh, I lost around 90% of the strength in my left arm and rehab myself back. You know, with the help of some doctors and some uh, physicians and uh, spinal therapists uh, to, to, to regain most of my mobility, most of my strength. But you know, every day is a struggle, and I, you know, continue to fight the good fight. And continue to <laughs> so now this is more stable now, right now. Okay, just from that. How's your, how's your low back before we go to your cervical, okay? How's your low back now? It's in pain. It's still in pain? Yes. Okay, all right, so you stay, uh, it's still in pain, so let's look at that. In pain, it's like, see, you got emotional pain, right? So actually, when you end your career, I mean, it's like, it, it, it's kind of traumatic, right? Yes. So emotional pain, right? You have emotion about it, right? Yeah. See, so when I say emotional pain, I feel a weakness there for you, right? Emotional pain, see that? All right. So you have to know the weakness, right? So I would just strengthen your emotional pain, right? If you have emotional pain, it would manifest in your body, okay? All right. Now, how's your low back before you go somewhere else in your body? It's getting better. Okay. Good, right? Yeah. We hit, We hit something, right? Yeah. You don't realize how important they are until you start to lose a motor function or you start to lose the ability to use your arm or you wake up and you can't feel it. You wonder if it's going to come back or not and up it does but then you try to go in and mentally do things that allow you to improve the state that you're in now and that's what I do. You know, I want to learn as much about the body as possible. So my arm is hurting too. Oh, no. Head your arm down. Okay. We don't need your arm. This is just for for you to, uh, you know, to see it or demonstrate it. 
Okay. And he has my arm standing up. My arm is starting to fatigue. The more my arm starts to fatigue, the more, the less I thought about the left side of my back. Okay, when he touched me on my left side, he touched me on my arm, and then he moved my arm. It's like, okay, my body registered him touching me. I felt it. And when he felt him touch me, I felt secure, and I was able to hold my arm up. When he touched me on my arm, did my head and let go, I lost the security. And so he was able to push my arm down. I was like, okay. So as I tried to outthink that process, because I'm, you know, I'm not just going to get on stage right. and play the game. You know, I'm not going to just get on the stage and, and, and dance to the fiddle. So um, I actually tried to think about what he was doing and tried to outsmart it. Okay? And the more I thought about it, the more I saw relief because he was pulling my mindset off of what was actually going on and getting me to think about other things and almost redirect um, my body's awareness. And actually, I should make your body more even with each other. That's, um, that's the next thing that you telling me without verbalizing it. You, your body has to be more even with each other. So we make everything even, okay? So that way, whatever pain you have would be evenly distributed throughout your body, okay? Okay, now how's your back now? How's your low back? Uh, it's better than what it was. Okay, well, make it hurt. <laughs> Move around, let's do it. Yeah, I mean, do things, uh, hold yourself in a position that would hurt, okay? What? It hurts? Yes. Okay. Now doing what? Just um. Just moving? Yeah. Realigning my spine. Trying to stand perfect posture. Shoulder blades back and down. Head up, chest up. Belly button pulled in. Well, who told you to uh, stand like that? The uh, Marines or what? No. <laughs> you, you don't need to stand like that. Okay? So let's make sure that uh, you're okay with your body. And you could abuse your body and it'd be okay right now. Okay, now move it again, see if any discomfort. And don't think about your body, right? Just move your body, okay? More comfortable? More comfortable. Okay, and you still concerned about it? Yes. See, you're concerned about re-injuring it, right? Um, no, not more about re-injuring it, no. Well, that's what you say. No. But that's not what your energy is telling you, okay? The fact of getting injured again, and he got me to relax you know, on the spot for the most part. Now, again, I'm going to give you a sore arm, okay? Now, give me some strength here, all right? Now, think about re-injuring your body, okay? Or your back, okay? Re-injury, okay? Now, are you strong with that? Re-injuring. So that's strength you that, okay? Re-injury, okay? Now, move it again and see if there's any uh, limitation there. So that's like changing the, um, the injury, right? You want to make sure that the central nervous system is connected strongly to that part of the body. Okay? Now, how's your, how's your low back now? Better. Okay. Now, what's not better, you think? <laughs> My spine is not better. Huh? My spine, C5 and 6, is not bad. When you have an injury like this that you suffer through blood trauma, then, you know, you have a tendency to lose uh, a, lot of, a lot of those things in the process. And I just want to be able to maintain as much of it as possible, even though I know I have deficiencies, uh, or should I say injuries. It's not better. It's not better. Well, what tells you that it's not better? Well, I can't activate my rhomboid. And I can't expand my... Chest? Chest. Back. Okay, so um, my boy is up here, mm -hmm. and um, so what do you perceive in your muscles here? Um, you got discomfort or you got restriction? Restriction. Okay. So restriction, so any restriction anyone have, you want to make sure those muscles are communicating strongly to the central nervous system. In this case, would be the brain, okay? Mm -hmm. So we make sure this is strong to the brain, and the brain is uh, not confused about um, how to deal with those muscles. Okay, now, how's your rumboy now? Better. Okay. But Good, good. How's your pec? You still have some it's question good. about your pec? Yeah, it's still a little tight, but it's getting better. Some See, the thing is that you're, you're all tight is because you, you, you're losing 
I mean, you keep yourself too loose about everything else. <laughs> so what you should do is just tense everything except your uh, pecs, okay? Just tense everything, okay? Because everything is, is, is goofing off, and that's why your chest is tight. Okay, now how's your chest now? Better. Okay, see how easy that is, right? <laughs> wow, that's different. I mean, yeah. just from before and after. Okay, how's your cervical? Better. Okay. Hey, but with him, he did it on a straight physical aspect, you know, where he um, had me relate touching or how my body perceived senses to get my body to jump back and reset. That was pretty cool. That was the first time that's happened. So that was awesome. What, what is the worst thought about playing your football out there? Injury. Injury? No, how about when somebody just tackle you and... Nah, that's routine. That's routine. You say injury, but let's say someone just keep you from moving. I mean, just, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't bother you, you think, right? You no. think injury bothers you, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's not true. It's when someone kind of, um, you're an offensive player or defensive? Offense, yeah. Okay. Let's say you have defensive player just kind of like nail you every time. Now, you okay with that? It's a part of the game. Well, I'm saying, are you okay with it? You suppressing it. You say a part of the game, it really bothers the hell out of you. Right? You want to improve the game, you don't want to be bothered by it. And, and not, see, I'm not here to try to argue with you. I'm just trying to point out to you that what really weakens you. I'm just saying that you have these defensive guys just kind of keep you from, you know, moving ahead. Uh, you know, in your game. I had an injury. It's unfortunate, but it happened. Um, it shaped the man that I am today. And I, I love opportunities like this to expand my knowledge on how I can improve my quality of life. Because you know, you got one, so that I can put together a nice offense mm -hmm. to kind of attack the things that are going on with me, and you know, improve them so that my quality of life over time, as I get older, I will still be able to do the things that I would like to do. Advance, you, you get tackle, right? Yeah. That would bother you, right? That would bother me, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We want to get rid of that, right? Okay. All right. So we have to get the mind out of there for that, and also your spiritual experience of that of being defeated, right, by your opponent. Okay. So we change all that. Now think about that again. Um, getting tackled. When you think about that. You're getting tackled that you can't advance. Now, what's that seem right now? Are you more? strong about it, more neutral about it, instead of uh, it bothers you? Does it bother you the same way? No. Okay, good. Now that's an improvement for you, okay? I think especially with, with you being a former professional football player, you know, you're obviously still very athletic. When he pointed out something about, uh, did you have problems with, with getting tackled or what? Okay, so uh, he mentioned getting tackled. And my first thing was, you know, it's part of the game. Because being tackled is part of the game. When I step on the field as a receiver, I play wide receiver as a football player, you expect contact, you expect to be hit. Now, when he got me to think about being tackled in a different mindset, you know, not on the field, he said, hey, you're just coping with it and saying, hey, it's part of the game, but actually you don't like to be tackled. And I got to thinking about it, like, okay, if I try to break for the door right now and the audience members start tackling me, I think that's pretty annoying. <laughs> And once I started thinking about it like that, my body started to, to react differently mm. to what he was doing. That's deep. And I was like, okay, well, yeah, I don't like to be tackled. I understand that's part of the game, but you're right. I do hate to be tackled, especially if somebody was just trying to tackle me when I'm going to the restaurant, tackle me when I'm going to the grocery store. That would be something that would get on nerves. So once I started thinking about it like that, well, yeah, I do hate being tackled. Then, boom, 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 mm. my body started to respond. It was crazy. It was pretty cool. Well, yeah. Is that better? Yeah. All right, okay. All right. Well, I that was a you to lot. Go back that and, was a lot, though. We want. I mean, lot. that was like your neck, your lower back, your connection with your brain, your central nervous system, and yeah, then your mental. Go and emotional. work out and, and let them yeah. put your back on the <laughs> that was team. A okay. Pack. All right. <laughs> All right. You know, I, I felt the discomfort, I, you know, but he got me to think about it in a different mind, in a different way. My body responded differently to it. And that's pretty cool. I like that. It was, it was something that I would like to implement. But that, but you see, in a short period of time, I mean, in just a few minutes. You're going to do this on here, the phone. You know, you don't even have to come see us, okay? Oh, yeah. No, get rid of your mental awareness, okay? It's <laughs> well, all it feels like mental physical, awareness. okay? I know. They got it all wrong, okay? <laughs> if you want to have a great career, it's all physical intelligence, okay? Yeah. You want to be like an animal, no mind, okay? 
That's why animals run so fast, right? They don't need a warm-up. They never injure themselves, right? <laughs> So yeah. you ready to get back in the game? Oh, yeah. All right. All right. You're well, you got to keep you. in touch with us. Yeah, right? we're looking yeah. for you to yeah. get back to the game and give us a little write-up or something, okay? Yeah. Everybody yeah. got it all I mean, wrong, okay? We're going to change it. That's why I have physiopsychology. Good thing that, for sure. That no mind. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, man. Th thank you very much for your time and sharing your uh, your story with us. I think it'll be very inspiring for a lot of people. Oh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. So, thank you.